next few minutes, you're going to see a demonstration of the card recognition system created by 1A Laboratories Limited, which shows their parts reconstruction method. To start with, we have a notebook computer, which acts as a server in this case. And we also have a Digiclops camera, which is it captures images in three dimensions. As you can see, there are three lenses, three openings in the camera at the bottom, and each of these lenses enables the camera to capture three-dimensional images. The camera is connected to the computer by a cable. And again, this is the server side computer. We also have a piece of blue felt, which we're going to put cards on. And these cards will be recognized by the software system. So we now put a card down on the felt. And as you can see, the card is the Jack of Diamonds. Now, if we go to the server-side computer, we see that the actual image is there. Now, to make sure that the system has correctly recognized the card, we can see in the current list of cards, DJ, which means Jack of Diamonds. That means the system has correctly recognized the card. This indicates actually that there's been a matching going on between the actual image and the images in the parts box. We're now removing that card. And as you can see in the removed card log, DJ, the Jack of Diamonds, which indicates that the card has been removed from the felt from the scene. Okay, next, we're going to add several cards to the scene. We have three cards, six of clubs, eight of spades, and five of diamonds. And we can see here in the current list of cards, three cards appear correctly, which means that the system recognized them correctly. We're now going to partially stack the cards one on top of another. And again, we have three cards, eight of diamonds, five of spades, and the nine of clubs. And in the current list of cards, we have the correct cards. OK, so next we're going to describe the sending of data from the client side, uh, server side computer, the client side computer. So here we see that the card has been correctly recognized on the server side. And the data is being sent to the client side where it is received. And the image is retrieved from the parts box and shown on the screen. It's important to note that we see here the blue, blue felt with a card on top. And on the client side, we have a green felt with a card on top. It's important to note that this is generated by computer. It's a computer graphic, not the actual image. Okay, so next we're going to demonstrate the overall system. And we have cards being placed on the felt. The images appear, the actual image appears on the server side, and the pertinent information about the cards is sent to the client side where the image is recreated after it has been taken from the parts box on the client side. So we have three cards on top of the felt here and those images are matched with the images in the parts box on the client side and recreated on the screen and as you can see they're in the correct position and the cards are the correct cards. Next, we're going to demonstrate the 3D capabilities of the card recognition system by placing a card on top of some post-it notes.
So as you can see, the actual card itself is on angle. And we go to the client side. It's a little bit difficult to see here, but we rotate the image, rotate the viewpoint, and we can see that indeed the card is being recognized as being on an angle and is being recreated on the client side on an angle. So next we have one card which is on an angle and another card which is uh, placed on top of the felt, directly on top of the felt. And in this demonstration we're going to show that not just one client server, but in fact two client servers. The image will appear on both notebooks, which you'll see in a minute. So there we have two client computers. And as you'll see, we're actually able to change the point independently between the two client computers. And this is one of the important uh, aspects of PRM, is that each client computer can actually view the scene from any angle that they choose. Okay, so up until now we've seen the recognition capabilities of the system, uh, but we're now going to show some variations in those recognition capabilities. So in this example here we have a card which is placed facing down on an angle. And as you can see on the client side, the card is indeed facing down. But because we can't read the number of the card, we have a question mark. card here is placed at an angle of 50 degrees, so the system can recognize cards placed up to about 50 degrees. And as you'll see, when we recreate this on the client side, indeed the card is shown at 50 degrees on the client side. Next, we're going to put the cards in an A-frame shape. And we just use a piece of tape to stick them together to make sure they don't collapse. So we have a five of clubs and an ace of spades. And as you'll see, on the client side, we have the same two cards being created correctly. And they're in an A-shape, which you'll see in a moment very clearly by changing the viewpoint of the client side graphics. So as you can see there, the cards are in, in the exact same A shape. Now we're going to show a more complex arrangement with a smaller felt placed above the main felt and one card placed on an angle and then another card placed as usual flat on the felt. And we'll just go to the client side and see if it's correctly being recreated. And as you can see, it is. We have one card floating in the air, one on an angle, and one flat on the felt. Next, we're going to show a slight variation of that. We have the A M shape card, one card on an angle, and one card placed flat on the felt. So we'll just go over to the client side computer and check if it's the image is being correctly shown and as you can see it is. So next we're going to do administration of the uh, blackjack game. 
using card recognition system. And here we have the player getting his betting money ready. And he's betting $100 on the game. So we have player, Alistair, and the dealer. The dealer deals one card face down to the player and deals one card face down to himself. And now we'll go over to the client side computer and look at the results of what's happening so far. We see two face down cards. Next, the dealer deals an ace of clubs to the player. And he deals uh, jack of clubs to himself. And the game will go up to the client side computer. And, and as you can see, it's a card. We have the correct cards for the player and for the dealer. So the player is now going to stay. And the dealer deals himself one more card, which is a two of hearts. And once again, we'll go up to the client side computer, and as you can see, there's the results. Now, the player and the dealer have turned over their cards. So we have two cards for the player, and we have three cards for the dealer. We'll just go to the client side computer and see the results of the game. The player has won with blackjack 21 while the dealer has 22 so he's bust and the player gets a payout of $150 because the odds of 1.5 to 1. And that's the end of the game. That's the end of the PRM demonstration.